words of the best-selling author, Austin Kleon, are amongst the things this contemporary artist has armed herself with as part of the inspiration for this solo exhibition. Besides the fact that a lot of things run through her mind and the only way she can find expression is through her art. I titled my exhibition, You Haven't Seen It All, because it actually happens to be my very first solo. In the past, I have had um, struggles with myself. I've been very um, used to working in a monotonous style against my wish because I was, you know, I was too glued to the academic kind of art where you're looking for representational art, you're looking for resemblance and, and, and all of that. And so I had, you know, a, an urge to break away to you know, release myself, my true genius, and express myself as the painter I, I truly am. And so I came about, you know, this body, this collection of works that were born from within. They are actually works that um, were ignited by a creative spark. And so I, I decided to work according to how my, my heart led me, instead of what people would think. And so I took the chance to say, okay, here I am. You haven't seen it all. Come look at um, the stuff I do now. And that is what birthed the show, which she calls You Haven't Seen Nothing Yet. Taye Erewele explains the concept. Um, it's colors that make life worth living. For example, if you, if you were living in a room that didn't have any light, you wouldn't appreciate, for example, the color of the fabric you yourself is wearing, or your furniture, or even the television set, because there'll be no light to power it. I think um, life experiences, you know, God guarded my thoughts as at when I was producing these colors. The use of color for me is symbolic. From the depth of my heart, I'm led to express myself in words that I cannot articulate. for quite a while and um, I am so impressed that she's uh, put this collection together and uh, I, it's so interesting to see that um, she has indeed grown and her art has grown along with her and uh, she's shown a very strong collection today, very collectible items, uh, very interesting uh, and uh, invigorating topics. For her, Painting compares to a childlike adventure, one that she has embarked on, and the ride has been a delightsome one. We see it in pieces such as To Be or Not, Twilight, Be Throated, some of these issues that affect her gender. That piece behind, titled My Fairy Passion, just talks about how passionate my journey has been. I actually... Um, have a very interesting story. Before I became an artist, I had meddled into two other um, courses. I, at a point in my, in my life, I studied geography and regional planning. At some point, again, I studied estate, and estate management. But then there was this void in me that I needed to fill. And so, you know, I, I started on, on that course of, of self-discovery. This work just tells you that I'm very passionate about what I do. Taye Oseza Erewele is one of the emergent um, contemporary Nigerian female artists. 
and I followed her for a while. Initially, she was doing pure realism, but after a while, she felt so bored with what she was doing because she constantly was shortchanging herself, not following her creative impulse or the spontaneity, the way it occurs to her. She was always paying attention to what you know, the um, viewers will think of her work, how they will receive it. So at this time, she just decided to be herself for once. It's more like um, a, an artistic jailbreak, you know, breaking away from um, considering secondary opinions in what she does. So she follows now the spontaneity of um, her impulse, the way it occurred. And in doing so, she ended with different kinds of work. Because when you do that, when you pay attention to, to, your, to your mind, you know, in the end, you're going to come out with a lot of things. Sometimes it just starts with a spark. For her, it starts with an idea, a spark, which, of course, leads her on to unknown destination. In the end, what the artist creates is more like a surprise to her, too. But the most interesting thing is that they represent her you know, in the most intentions, her true intentions, as opposed to a substituted one. The curator, Luciano Uchegu, describes how he sees the artist's works, full of depth and color. The subject also shows she's aware of what's happening in her environment. The work cuts across um, realism and of course goes into real abstract or avant-garde kind of representation. And, uh, and it has various colors that the artist has experimented you know, with. So in the end, she came out with things that even called some experience in her, like uh, she studied uh, a, a bit of uh, geographic and uh, um, urban and regional, you know, um, study. She undertook that, and then in the end, she came out with works that reflected that aspect of her unconsciously. You know, all these geometric um, expressions, they all put together, represent something in her she didn't know would always seek expression in, in, in her art. Yeah, in terms of colors, I think she's, because she's a purist, I mean, I think she's using real colors. She's expressing humans in the form that she sees them. So there's natural tones and natural I I impressions. And then when she goes into sort of uh, what I call a little bit more of the um, expressionist uh, veil, she's, you know, she's using powerful co colors, strong tones that are just in your face, in your eye, you can't fail but to appreciate, you know, what is in front of you and begin to imagine what impressions she's trying to make. Her color application has really changed in the course of the few years I have known her and um, she's shown a lot of maturity in its uh, selection and application. Um, yeah, I am truly impressed. Taye Erewele is a graduate of the Ambrose Ali University in Edo State. She has held over 15 group exhibitions and her subjects are usually gender related. We have some more art excitement for you to enjoy as we usher in the month of August. Next week we'll see an exhibition at the Thought Pyramid Gallery and more. So you won't want to miss that plus other artifacts on the next episode when you tune in again. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Have a lovely day.